A large swarm of cannonball jellyfish has washed up on the northern end of Ocracoke Island, a update from the Cape Hatteras National Seashore, CHNS. Park rangers from the Cape Hatteras National Seashore, part of the National Park Service, NPS, snapped photos of the spectacle on Friday, October 14, and shared it in a Facebook post. The large swarm washed up along the northern edge of Ocracoke Island, one in a chain of islands that makes up the outer banks. The sudden influx of these squishy, stingerless blobs coincides with the presence of red drum, Cyanops oscillatus, a species of saltwater fish that's currently in the midst of spawning season. The fish's larvae also happen to be the preferred snack for the jellyfish, according to the post. Similar to actual cannonballs in both shape and size, the jellies weigh about 1 pound, 450 grams, on average and measure 10 inches, 24 centimeters, in diameter, the species is one of the most common types of jellyfish along the southeastern coast, according to the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. So why did they wash up now? Jellyfish rely on winds and currents to help them swim. Colder water temperatures, winds and currents can all play a role in them washing ashore. And the stars lined up particularly well this year, a red drum spawning event combined with colder water temperatures to create a huge seafood buffet for the voracious blobs. Why blooms occur in some years and not in others, or why sometimes blooms are larger in some years compared to others is all tied to environmental factors, but not well understood, Cheryl Lewis Ames, an associate professor of applied marine biology at the Graduate School of Agricultural Science, Tohoku University in Japan, told Newsweek. In my several decades of jellyfish research I have found that few jellyfish species will reliably show up just when you expect them. The cannonball jellyfish are prevalent in multiple locations throughout the world, including the Pacific Ocean regions bordering China and Japan, as well as the Atlantic Ocean coastline from New England to Brazil. They are common on the southeastern coast of the United States, including the East Coast and the Gulf Coast, and in this region, they are extremely abundant in the fall and summer months. Though they are commonly spotted along the outer banks this time of year, it is extremely rare for so many to be reported in one area and at one time. 